burdened with this century and a quarter of myth about it. Our image of the Civil War is gallant, but somehow bloodless. It's Scarlett O'Hara and Rhett Butler and too much sort of treacly tradition that doesn't allow us to actually understand it for the complex events so that we're in some ways repelled from it and yet when we learn the truth about it we can't bring it and, and there's no more amazing figure for that than Robert E. Lee, a man who's offered the chance to run the Union Army but turns it down to serve his country. Now what's his country? It's Virginia, yes. who opposes slavery and secession but defends them both. Uh, that is now, today, our favorite general. And yet this man was a traitor to the United States of America, responsible for more American deaths than Hitler or Tojo. And yet this big-hearted country can contain the paradox of that because it happened within this family idea. It happened to this family. It was a family tragedy. And though someone strayed, so someone erred, so someone left, we're still willing to take them back in and to love them in a way and that it speaks volumes about our dimensions as a people that our favorite general can be a man as difficult, as negative, as powerful, as mythological and as great as Robert E. Lee is, was. It does show us who we were. And it does make us able to get a better view of who we are.